so we're near this guy trying to change here and uh, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, YouTube and how things can be made to be essentially misleading and just recently within the past couple of years I've seen on videos that have been posted over and over again about uh, somebody being dominated by somebody else usually it's the it's the line of oh uh, so many pounds woman dominates a man who's like double her weight etc etc stuff like that and what then follows what then follows is a video pretty much where most of the time it's a um, a skills and technique uh, skills and technique uh, situation and what will happen is is there will be a woman who's putting the guy into a hold etc etc and then the guy will sort of like do a little resistance etc and then the ball put him in a hold and then you'll see the tap etc and then they'll go and then there'll be a release and there's an awful lot of times where you see these things and there'll be all these people go, oh that woman dominated that guy and she can do martial arts and somehow martial arts will give you this superpower that a woman can <laughs> is it all over the place look let's be honest um, amongst other things I studied for about 5 or 6 years when I was younger Jeet Kune Do and whilst I may not have formal training I still go through the I suppose you would say catters uh, of what I did I don't do it for competitions or fighting anymore but it's fun to get a friend who holds the pads by my mom you know uh, got that. it's fun um, it's nice to keep it's nice to keep an edge in and in fact just recently I have been thinking about going towards um, restarting a class and in fact I'm researching a few places but when it comes down to uh, what, what I wanted to address is is an awful lot of this stuff is clickbait. An awful lot of people think, oh, uh, this woman can do this, this woman can do that. Look, um, and I've stated a few times the realities of the situation. Now, before anybody calls me misogynist or sexist or anything else like that, look, uh, there are some women who are highly trained who can take on an untrained man and get them wrapped up, get them beaten, etc. Okay? However, it's in the very high minority. Most of the time, most of the time, the woman will be much heavier than the guy, will be a lot longer in the sport, and generally, the guy will be half the size of the woman okay but even then even then there is the point where most of the time a man will beat the woman and for some reason for some reason people get offended at this there is nothing to be offended about okay it's simple biology and simple <laughs> simple uh, simple facts of life on that now I'm not degrading women or anything else like that please don't think I'm doing that now the reason how I know this is because throughout my years I've been a student of human movement I have in my personal training qualification uh, kinesiology and the science of movement. I also know body language and how things work. Now normally when you see these videos 
there is a very focused practice movement of going through the drill. So when we talk about going through a drill, we're talking about that there will be an A, B, C, D scenario. So A, you do this, B, you do this, C, you do this, and so on and so forth. And people in a martial arts drill, whether it be BJJ, uh, Jeet Kune Do, Karate, whatever, there will be an A, B, C, and one will be the offensive, one will be the defensive. And it will be the job of the defender to go through to provide some form of defense where the attacker can break through, practice the lock, practice the hold, and then once the person's got a good grip, they go, yep, you've got me there, da da da, then there's a release, and a, by the tap, uh, and then let go, and then again. Now the reason, the reason why, the reason why this is done is to help women build up their strength uh, for training and for practical use. Because at the end of the day, if you're working with a force stronger than yourself, you are going to grow stronger. The other reason why I know it's a drill is because there's a very, very focused, slower movement, a slower cadence and rhythm to what would happen in a real scenario full on bam 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 and usually when it's in a sort of a you see all the stages going through bam 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 and then just and then look, whatever it might be when you're in a real situation there is a lot faster frenzied movement there is a lot more to that combat scenario and sometimes the stages are skipped because when it comes to a combat scenario and full on resistance things don't go A, B and C you can never predict what's going to happen I know myself I've been in that situation where I've had to think on my feet and that's where improvisation comes in where you have to improvise so if somebody's coming at a right hook and, and suddenly they switch it to a full on straight through I've got to think on my feet or else I've got to get caught and there have been some times when that has happened especially when you go from the practice technique scenario to the sparring and the more semi semi-contact full contact so an awful lot of these posts where you see this is not so much it really isn't about the guy getting dominated it's about and usually when it is that it's two students working together to figure out how each other can work in and learn from the situation it is nothing about dominance most of the time it has said it's drill practice getting the muscle memory on how to do that now what I will say is this uh, although I don't like sparring with women I really don't because there have been times when I've caught too many females and hurt them and seriously hurt them. I'm, you know, even now, uh, there have been a few times where there's been a few female friends of mine who are martial artists that wanted to spar with me. And I'm a bit rusty, but I can hold my own. And most of the time, I've done defense, I've done the defense thing and, you know, just, you know, kind of, you know, do a little bit of a tap. Because, let's face it, I'm six foot two. I'm 238 pounds with a little fluff but most of it is solid underneath and there have been times where I've caught the girl in question or the woman in question and seriously hurt them 
it isn't ever my desire to do that so yes I have quite an extensive knowledge I have still a fair few skills even if they are rusty I know a lot so that I can speak with some professional experience so you know all in all I think you know content creators need to actually have a little responsibility they need to have a little more forethought with pushing through these things where they're saying oh this one's done that or this or that or the other you need to take some responsibility you need to think a little bit more carefully because there's going to be people out there who know nothing about it who are going to go into martial arts and think suddenly oh I'm going to have all these abilities that I'll be able to do anything and I'll be able to do whatever it is and they're going to get hurt all because you want to put a video up so I'm going to say to people um, who may watch these and who may uh, sort of think martial arts is only as good as your the teacher who teaches you the dedication you put in and it takes years to even really get to a point where in a very serious situation are you going to be able to act without thinking it took me three years to really be able to move and execute everything without thinking about it as a, as sort of a reactive memory when you first go in there and when you first do martial arts <laughs> you don't just suddenly go oh look what I can do and when I say three years I don't just mean turning up at a class on a weekday going through a few movements going ah hey ah I'm talking about when I practiced when I when I was doing it it was two and a half hours on a Monday and then an hour each day going through what I had learned each day going through what I'd learned practicing going through the holds with a friend of mine who I used to go with doing all the doing all those things practicing working through so martial arts isn't just about turning up at a class and doing that it's about all the time every day going through working through checking your abilities checking how you're doing things thinking through things working through things shadow uh, shadow movements um, moving the hands feet like whatever it may be the way you would do in a in a fight in a fight situation it's about having a bag in your room when you, so when you're doing strikes you are constantly practicing the strikes and you're not just waylaying into the bag you're purposefully moving and hitting the bag to the maximum effect that you can it's not all about putting all the power in it's about it's about applying the power about applying the force about applying whatever it is to reach the end result so these people are putting on these videos and I've been accused of being a troll I, I, one of them I was accused of being a troll saying oh I'm one of those people who go on and troll and, and don't practice well <laughs> no I don't practice at a, I don't practice at a McDojo I actually practiced under a teacher who learned from Neil Axe who, who learned from one of Bruce Lee's original students and that was alright that was going back a few years and whilst I don't go to a particular dojo I still keep intact the basics that I learned so I'm caught I really I'm really calling on people to be a little bit more careful about what they post a little bit more careful on how they phrase things on 
their videos about oh, being dominated or whatever it is, which is a lot of stupidity. Martial arts isn't about dominating. It isn't about beating someone else up. It's more than that. It's about the philosophies. It's about the thought processes. It's about control. It's about dedication. It's about discipline. It's about thinking entirely in a focused way that goes into your daily life, that goes into a personal code of honour and conduct. Martial arts or the, you know, as we know, the craft and everything else, it's about how you think in your daily life. It's about how you view life, how you value life. It's about the limitation of damage. That's really what it's what a lot of it was taught. The limitation of damage to effectively deal with someone to incapacitate them with at least with the least amount of damage possible. It never is about domination or anything else. So I just thought I'd pass on that in answer to people's uh, accusations about I don't know what I'm on about in fact with what I do I probably know more because there's a lot of martial art tenants that I do actually live by as I said it's not just about the fighting it's about the whole mentality about the focus about everything so when you next see one of these videos really take a look at it because in actual fact it is just practice or an awful lot of the times it's a setup where people are very good actors. It's as simple as that. Have a great day.